And faced with a growing labor shortage, Greece will start bringing in workers from Egypt this summer to take on temporary farming jobs under a deal between the uh, countries last year. Now, the transitional agreement was ratified by the uh, Greek Parliament in November 2023 and currently covers 5,000 seasonal farm workers. The labor agreement has been widely welcomed by Egyptian nationals who believe it will or it is an opportunity to better their lives amid the prevailing economic hardship. Now, the North African nation had signed a similar deal with Serbia last year geared towards providing job opportunity for its citizens. Let's have more details of that in this report. Mohamed Hilal, a father of three, is applying for a vacancy announced by the Egyptian government seeking 5,000 farmers for temporary work in Greece. I saw an ad from the ministry on their website. I applied and received an appointment to hand in my documents free of charge. It is a great idea for people like us who need better income for our families and in Europe. It is much better to go to Europe legally instead of the dangerous, irregular migration way. Hundreds have been queuing up at the ministry headquarters, hoping for an opportunity to improve their living conditions. The pay is much higher than in Egypt, and we get to accumulate experience from modern agricultural systems there. When we come back, we will have saved money and we will use our experience for better jobs here. Athens has turned to Egypt for labor after an exodus of workers in the last few years because of an economic recession, a worker shortage and low wages. Greek officials commended the skills of Egyptian workers and say they will request more workers in other sectors like tourism and manufacturing. We send the resumes and Greece chooses the candidates. The employment duration is for nine months, but Greece said they plan to extend it to two years. The government had signed a similar deal with Serbia last year as part of efforts to create job opportunities for its citizens. The Ministry of Labor has 85 fixed and mobile vocational training centers countrywide to train the youth to be well qualified for job vacancies in different markets. Officials say they're also building a database for people who want to work abroad in all specialties, as Cairo prepares to sign labor agreements with other European countries.